So welcome back to this latest video on 162 Matt and in this video we'll be going over some GCSE Matt higher exam questions related to solving equations using graphs. Now as always I'll include a copy of the questions that we go through in this video as a link in the description for you to download and I strongly recommend you have attempt at the questions before watching this video so you can see what your prior knowledge is like. Now before we get started working through some exam questions related to solving equations with graphs let's just have a quick overview over what you need to know and what you need to revise. So the first thing which is one of the most obvious ones is you need to know how to plot an equation so this counts for both horizontal, vertical, diagonal lines and also quadratics. So it's really important you know how to do that and obviously that's going to generally be used by either by sight or by using a table of values. The next thing you then need to know is by plotting two equations that the intersection point is the solution. So here when you're solving an equation you're usually finding x, so then it's the x ordinates of the intersection points that you are interested in. Now when you are making an equation equal to zero, then you need to make sure that you recognize that the solution is where the curve or the line crosses the x axis. Now to draw an equation, sometimes you'll always get asked to draw an equation to then solve a bigger equation then what you need to do first is you first need to first work out the drawn equation minus the required equation and then that will give you an expression in terms of x so for example the answer might look like 3x minus 1 so then what you then need to do is you then need to plot y equals 3x minus 1 and then from that you can see where the intersection points and then your answer will be the x ordinates and again if that makes absolutely no sense do not worry the last question in the topic test basically tackles this particular issue now again a little reminder that if you want an access to these questions and all you need to do is just simply click on the link in the description alternately you could just simply pause the video as i read out the question have an attempt at it then unpause as we go through the answer so looking at straight into question one, it says solve 2x minus 3 equals 4. So this one doesn't require any graphs, we just need to solve it. So here we've got 2x equals take the 3 over by adding 3, so that becomes 7. So x equals 7 over 2, so you can either leave it as a fraction or convert it as a decimal. Question 1b, it then says on the grid for all values of x from 0 to 4, draw the graphs of y equals 2x minus 3 and x uh, y equals 4. Now y equals 4 is just going to be a horizontal line through the y-axis at 4. So if I just draw a line through there, now making sure that your line goes through the values of at least 0 and 4 of x. But I would say a good rule of thumb is always to extend your line from the outer rim of your grid. So then all that's left for me to do is plot y equals 2x minus 3. Now as, as I mentioned, we tend to do this by using a table of values. So you want to pick three smallish values for x. So I've just gone for 0, 1, 2. So then what we then need to do is just substitute x values into the formula 2x minus 3. So 2 times 0 is 0 take away 3 is minus 3, 2 times 1 is 2, take away 3 is minus 1, and 2 times 2 is 4, take away 3 is positive 1. So all I then need to do is plot these values, so at 0 it's minus 3 which is here, at 1 it's at minus 1, and at 2 it is at positive 1. So all that's left for me to do is then draw a line connecting those points. So let's use a different colour, let's go for blue, and this is going to be rather awkward on the computer. And we just extend that line so it goes through each of those points as accurately as I can. There we go. Then moving on to 1C, it says write down the coordinates of where the line 2x plus 1 and y equals 7 intersects. Now you need to be careful because the first line that it's asked me to draw was y equals 4 but in part c it's asking me to draw y equals 7. Now y equals 7 for this doesn't fit on my graph so I don't actually need to do it but what I can do is because both of them equal y I can make both equations equal to each other and then I could just solve this algebraically so I get x equals 3 so it's going to be 3 and when x is 3 
y is going to equal 7. And there we go, there's my coordinate. Moving on to question 2, it says the graphs of y equals 4x plus 10 and y equals x plus 4 are drawn on the grid below. And the question for 2a says state the coordinates of the points where the two lines intersect. Well, they intersect at this point here, and that coordinate is minus 2 and positive 2. Then says using the answer for part A, solve 4x plus 10 equals 4x uh, plus 4. So again, using the answer for part A, we can see that both of these two points have been plotted. So then solving the equation, then we're just interested in the x ordinate, so it's going to be minus 2. Alternately, if you were not sure, but I certainly wouldn't put this on the on your solutions because it says using your answer for part A. You shouldn't need any working out, but if you did, you'd have 3A equals 6, uh, minus 6 rather, and X equals minus 2. So again, we get the same answer. Looking at question 3, it says the graphs of y equals x squared and y equals 100 are drawn on the grid below. Benji wants to solve the equation of x squared equals 100. He says there will be more than one solution. Using the graph, explain why Benji is correct. You must refer to the graph in your answer. So for this, as we mentioned, that the solutions when plotting this are the intersection points. And you can see here that there are, well, let me just move up and you can see that there's going to be two solutions so there are two intersection points so therefore two solutions so something along those lines will be absolutely fine for that one mark it then says use the graph or otherwise solve x squared equals 100 so again we're looking for the x ordinates of where these two points intersect so one answer is at minus 10 and the other is at positive 10. And again, we're only interested in the x ordinate, so it's minus 10 and positive 10. Moving on to question four, it says here's a graph of 3y minus x equals 5. On the axes, draw the graph of y equals 4 minus 2x for all values of x from 0 to 3. So if I set up my table of values, I want 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now the equation is y equals 4 minus 2x. So we need to do the 2x bit first. So 2 times 0 is 0. 4 take away 0 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 take away 2 is 2. Then 2 times 2 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 take away 6 is minus 2. So what I then need to do is plot these coordinates. So I've got 0, 4. I've got 1, 2, 2, 0, and 3, minus 2, which is there. So all that's left for me to do is to draw a straight line through those points. Like so. Then for 4b, it says using the graph or otherwise solve the simultaneous equation. So for this, we need to work out the x and y, so that's going to be the coordinates of where the two points meet. And the two coordinates meet here, so the x value is 1 and the y value is 2. So all I need to write there is 1 and 2. So moving on to question 5, it says a curve has the equation of y equals 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 and a line has the equation of y equals 11x minus 7. Show that the curve and the line have exactly one point of intersection. You do not have to use a graphical method to prove this method. So for this, this is just simultaneous equations. So here what we need to do with the linear equation is make the two lines, uh, make one letter the subject, which we've got y. So here we've got 3x squared plus 5x minus 5 equals 11x minus 7. Now, as you can see from this, this is slowly starting to look like a quadratic, so we want to take everything all onto one side to make it equal to zero. So from this, we get 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 equals zero. Now, from this, I can then divide everything by 3 to make the numbers just a little bit smaller. So I've got 2x plus 1 equals zero. And then I then want to factorize. So for this, I can factorize for x minus 1 x minus 1 equals 0, which can be written as x minus 1 squared equals 0. 
So then solving this equation, we only get one solution. So as there is only one solution, there will only be one intersection point. And writing something along those lines would be absolute fine for the four marks. Then moving on to question six, it says very similar question, which is exactly the same, but with different equations. So again, we make the two equations equal to each other. So 4x squared minus 13x plus 2 equals 6x plus 7. The only reason why we can make them equal to each other is because both equations equal y. So from this, what we can then do is sort of turn this over to the other side to make it equal to zero in which I end up with 4x squared minus 19x minus 5 equals 0. So then what I then want to do is solve. Now you can either solve by factorising or by using the formula. It's entirely up to you which method you prefer. I'll factorise so we get 4x plus 1 and x minus 5 equals 0. So we have solutions of x equals minus a quarter or 5. And again, as there are two solutions, there will be, I should say there, not they. Two intersection points. Now, if the question asked me to find the coordinates of the intersection points, then that's when this question would turn into a simultaneous equation question. And then from there, what I would then do is basically sub the x values into y equals 6x plus 7 to find the y ordinates. But again, that question is not asking for that. So what I've written in green is absolutely fine for the answer. Then moving on to question seven, it says that Mathesha is in using a graphical method to solve 2x to the power of 4 minus 2x equals 0. She draws the graph of y equals 2x to the power of 4 and a straight line on the same grid. Here is the graph of y equals 2x to the power of 4. And it says complete her method to solve the equation of 2x to the power of 4 minus 2x. So for this, remember if we look back to what we had before, so we've got the equation that's drawn, which is 2x to the power of 4, and we subtract the equation that we want, which is 2x to the power of 4 minus 2x. So then if I exclude the bracket or get rid of the brackets, we get 2x to the power of 4 plus 2x. The 2x's cancel, so all I then need to plot is y equals 2x y equals 2x. So then plotting y equals 2x if I just zoom out here. So if I want to plot y equals 2x, I draw my table of values. So here 0 times 2 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So 0, 0, 1, 2, which is there, and, well, the other equation I don't really need. So then all that's left for me to do is to draw a straight line through the points. You just make sure that your line goes through those two points that you've plotted. So it looks like this. And then the question is asking for you to solve the equation. So I'm looking for where the two plot lines intersect and they intersect at this point here and this point here. And I'm only looking for the x ordinates. So the answer is either going to be x equals 0 or x equals 1. Now moving on to question 8, it says the graph of y equals 2x squared plus x minus 1 is drawn below. And it says, by drawing a suitable straight line on the grid, find the estimates for the solutions of the equation of 2x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So for this, let's start by working out what equation we need to draw. So again, we've got 2x squared plus 
x minus 1 is what's been drawn. And I need to take that away from the equation that we want to solve. So equation to solve. So that is 2x squared minus x minus 2. So then from this, if I get rid of the brackets, I get 2x squared plus x minus 1 minus 2x squared plus x my, uh, plus 2. So then simplifying this, the 2x squared cancel out, and I've got 2x plus 1. So what I want to plot is y equals 2x plus 1. So then plotting y equals 2x plus 1, creating my three coordinates, 0 times 2 is 0, plus 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 2, is 3, sorry. And then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So here, plotting the coordinates, I've got 0, 1, which is there, 1, 3, which is there, and 2, 5 doesn't fit, but I've got those two points, so that'll be fine for me to draw my straight line. So then all that's left for me to do is to draw a straight line through those points. And let me just make sure that this is going to be accurate. Again, this is incredibly fiddly doing it on the computer, but hopefully you can see what we're doing. So from this, what I then want to do is to pick the x ordinates of the intersection points. So the two intersection points are here. So what is that number there? I make it out to be minus 0 0.9 and this x ordinate to be along this line here, which I make out to be 1.2. So my solutions are going to be x equals minus 0 0.9 and 1.2. Now, in the mark scheme, they do allow an answer for this one here to be any number between minus 0.7 to minus 0.9. And for this value here, any number between 1.2 and 1.4. So we've kind of hit those numbers on the boundary, but that's basically what would be allowed to get the four, four marks.